welcome back to the channel guys hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mass coder this side so we are going to discuss the problem maximum occurred integer in the in the video that you are just going to see now the problem says we have we have been given n integer ranges we have been given n ranges and the task is to return the maximum occurring integer in the given ranges so for example you have been given 2 1 3 and 5 3 9 that is the first range is 2 comma 5 the second range is 1 comma 3 and the third range is 3 comma 9 right now the problem says that if you have a number line suppose if you have a number line right so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 right 9 is the maximum in the range given ranges right so 2 comma 5 states that mark 2 3 4 5 1 comma 3 says mark 1 2 3 right and 3 comma 9 says mark 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 right so you can see the maximum number of markings maximum number of markings maximum number of markings are received by which are received by 3 are received by 3 right so my answer for this question will be 3 I have to tell the number which has the maximum number of markings I have to tell the number which has the maximum number of markings right okay and now what can I do now the input provides me with the ranges and the maximum value and the maximum value that the uh, maximum number in any range can go up till 9 okay now how will I solve this problem how will I solve this problem okay so we will discuss the brute force approach first as usual right so the interviewer asks you a problem and what will you do you will say okay sir I have got the ranges suppose my first range is 2 comma 5 second range is 1 comma 3 and third range is 3 comma 9 I have been provided max c as 9 that my 9 is the maximum element so what will I do I will create an array in which maximum index number is 9 I will create an array in which maximum number index is 9 so for a maximum index is 9 I will have to create an array of length 10 so 0 index 1 index 2 index 3 index 4 index 5 index 6 index 7 index 8 and 9 right now what will I do I will say for i in all the ranges for i in all the ranges what will happen from left from left till right till right let us name this array as arr from left till right arr of i right suppose j is j is propagating here so arr of j plus plus arr of j plus plus so what is happening for 2 comma 5 initially all of them were 0 initially all of them were 0 right for 2 comma 5 what will happen 1 1 1 1 for 1 comma 3 what will happen 1 this will convert to 2 2 for 3 comma 9 what will happen 3 2 2 1 1 1 1 now actually this array is representing which number has occurred how many number how many times in all the including ranges right this array is in saying which number has occurred how many time, number of times now we'll just run a loop for i equals to 0 to uh, like max c right and thus i will update the answer as suppose my answer is currently 0 if if my array of i is greater than array of answer in that case answer will become my ith element right so you can see at the third iteration it will become 3 and it will remain 3 only so my answer will be 3 and that is what i wanted that is what i wanted right but the problem here because it is a brute force solution the time complexity is a problem here the time complexity is a problem what is the time complexity here so you can see my left and right can go from 0 to 9 right suppose my max c is given to me max c is my n right now left and right for all the given ranges suppose there are k ranges suppose there are k ranges then in, it, it, it can happen in all the k ranges in some test case that the left is occurring at 0 and the right is occurring at n in all the k ranges right in all the k ranges so what will happen in that case so this loop this loop is actually going n times here and n times here so it is actually o of n square o of n square our objective is to optimize time complexity to bring it to the linear time o of n that is shorter than the current time shorter than the current time so how will we solve it how will we solve it the approach is actually very beautiful I have myself encountered the same type of question in the interview of Goldman Sachs and Adobe. 
So please pay attention because this type of problem is actually very concurrent in today's OS. So please pay attention, right? So moving on to the optimized approach. Moving on to the optimized approach, right? So what I will do? I have the ranges 2 comma 5, 1 comma 3, 3 comma 9. My first step will be the same to create an array, to create an array, right? Okay, so suppose my array is looking something like this. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I want to create an array of length plus 1, okay? So let us create an array of 10, right? All of them are 0 currently. All of them are 0. All of them are initially filled with 0, right? Okay. Now my ranges are, first range is 2 to 5, second range is three, uh, 1 to 3 and third range is 3 to 9, correct? These are the ranges 2, 5, 1, 3 and 3, 9. Now how will I proceed? I am saying I am going to deal it, I am going to deal with it something like a prefix sum, something like a prefix sum, okay? Now any of you doesn't know about, about, about the prefix sum, so it is a famous algorithm. You can search it over the internet, the YouTube is filled with it, right? Okay, so prefix sum. What I'm saying is for the range 2 comma 5, what does it include? That 2, 3, 4, 5 should increase their chances. 1 comma 3 says 1, 2, 3 should increase. 3 comma 9 says 3, uh, 4, 5, all up to 9 should increase, right? So what I'm saying is you encounter 2 here. In the first range, you encounter 2. What will you do? Plus 1. Whatever is there, plus 1 on the left range, right? So what I'm saying is ARR of left of i plus plus. ARR of left of i plus plus. Now, we want to this one to propagate to 3, to propagate to 4, to propagate to 5, but it should end at 6. It should not propagate to 6. So what I'm saying is 1, it will be plus 1, it will be plus 1, it will be plus 1, but it will be minus 1. Let us say that ARR of right of i minus minus right so 0 will convert to minus 1 here moving on same for 1 to 3 so 1 change it to 1 and for 3 4 will get converted to minus 1 for 3 change it to 1 and for 9 convert 10 to minus 1 that is i created an index of max c plus 1 i created an index of max c plus 1 okay now my step says make a sum variable my sum is initially 0 my sum is initially 0 Start the traversal from here. Your first step will be that ARR of i plus equals to sum. And your second step will be sum equals to ARRI. And these are the two steps you have to do in the loop. So ARRI plus equals to sum. Sum is currently 0. This is also 0. Sum will also remain 0. Moving on. 1 plus 0. 1 plus 0. It will remain 1. But 0 will get converted to 1 because of this line. Moving on. Sum plus 1. That is 1 plus 1. It will give me. 2 here and now some will get converted to 2 moving on 2 plus 1 it will get converted to 3 and this will also get converted to 3 now 3 minus 1 it will get converted to 2 it will get converted to 2 and because of this 2 it will get also converted to 2 moving on 0 plus 2 it will get converted to 2 it will remain 2 only 6 my uh, uh, sorry it will get converted to 2 minus 1 that is 1 it will also get converted to 1 moving on it is Converted to 1, again, 1, 1. Moving on, for the 10, for the 10, it will get converted to 0, it will also get converted to 0. Now, it is your duty to match this array, that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, to this array we made. It is actually equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1. Exactly same, exactly same, right? Exactly same. So we have got the same array I wanted, like same array we created here is here with us. But the benefit with us is that we did it in O of n time complexity, right? We just move on for the ranges and we just change the array, right? So what was our algorithm? We just did something like this. So for i in ranges, ARR of left of i plus plus and ARR of right of i plus 1 minus minus right now after this loop we have got the array we have got the array right and now i can just use this loop which is running in o of n time complexity to get my answer right so paste this loop inside below here 
and this will give your answer this will give your answer right so now few things to notice because my max c is given to me as 9 right and i want to create an array of size 10 that is i have to create an array of size max c plus 2 max c plus 2 why max c plus 2 because the last index is n minus 1 so I, if i want 10 i want to make an array of size 11 so 9 plus 2 gives me 11 that is the only thing you know have to notice here time complexity is o of n space complexity is also o of n okay now let us write the code for it all right guys so here we are so before starting with the code i would like to request you to please subscribe to the channel if you have learned something today in the video so please subscribe to me because it really motivates me unfortunately many of you have not subscribed only 20 percent of you have subscribed so please subscribe me if it's possible moving on what will i do i will first create an array so vector of int array of size max plus 2 and initialize all of them by 0 now just traverse through the ranges so for int i going from 0 up till n i plus plus what will happen arr of left of i plus plus and arr of right of i plus 1 minus minus right moving on what will i do this will give me the array now my int answer i am saying currently 0 now for int i going from 1 or i can you can say 0 also i, I going from 1 i less than n i lot i less than n i less than equals to max i plus plus what will happen if my arr i is greater than arr of answer in that case answer equals to i in that case answer equals to i at the end of the loop your answer will contain your answer return answer right let us try to compile and run it hope it will work fine should not give any error i guess oh it is giving an error what is the error let me see found the error we did not pre-process like we did not do the sum well something right so int sum equals to zero currently now for int i going from 0 i less than equals to max what will happen i will say sum plus equals to arr i and oh, sorry not sum plus it will be arr i plus arr i plus equals to sum and now sum equals to arr i right this will give me the pre-processed array i should run fine now i guess and oh again there is an error okay updation statement is missing i plus plus let us try it now please don't give an error it is running fine let us try it for submit as well should not give any error i guess it is running fine so thank you for watching and staying tuned and please stay tuned for the upcoming videos and also please show some love to the linkedin series and in a few days binary tree series is also getting launched within a few days binary search tree is also getting launched so please share it among your friends who are in, in need of learning dsa because I am aiming to upload all the lectures very soon, right? So thank you for watching and we'll meet tomorrow with a new video with a new hope. Thank you. Have a nice day.